Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gold Gas here with another episode of Plumbing 101. In this episode, we're going to diagnose a hot water fault in this particular case on an alpha boiler and uh, we're going to clean out the plate heat exchanger as well. If you enjoy, please drop a like and if you want to see more service bits and gas works, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. So I've been called to this Alpha Intec 30C. The hot water is going hot, cold, hot, cold. And if you look at the display with the hot tap on, it's rising extremely quickly and goes to high levels, 80s, 90s. So immediately I'm sure that the plate heat exchanger is blocked and that temperature is just rising too high. Be sure to have some spare washers. These aren't the washers for this boiler, but this is a good example of ones I've taken out where they're just completely perished and would leak if I put the old ones back in. So firstly, isolate the boiler, flow and return, because you only want to drain the boiler, not the whole heating. But if it's the highest point of the house, you can leave the flow and return open and actually you're drained a little bit more so it's easier. Isolate the cold water into the boiler, open a hot tap, make sure the water has stopped. And then you want to open the drain off into a bucket or I've got a hose and connect onto that but I've got quite a lot of room here so I just put a bucket underneath and drain that boiler. Isolate the boiler electrically and then you can begin to take the case off. And this one I'm taking the control panel down and then there's four screws. I have to lift the front cover off. At this point it's a good chance to check the seals, make sure everything's all right. If you can, move the electronic control board or the housing away so you don't spill any water on it. Uh, on this boiler you can disconnect the earth tag and move the whole control unit but actually this one was seized on so I couldn't get it as far away as I wanted to. Then get away any obstacles, take out the motor if you need. I've taken off this side panel as well for easier access. Have your wet vacuum handy if you have one because you're going to get a few drips and you don't want to get it in the electrics. If you do get it in the electrics, don't turn the power on obviously. Get a hairdryer and dry them out. Now I can start pulling out the plate heat exchanger. If you can, turn it so it's facing upwards and you're not going to spill any more water. Put it somewhere safe. Try and get rid of some of that excess water so while you're cleaning it out, you don't spill any on any electric. So make sure that's fully drained. Here's the plate heat exchanger full of shards. So that definitely needs a good clean. You can tell that it's completely blocked up and causing the problem. The scaler I'm using today is Max Strength Spirits of Salt. As much as you can before you put it back in. Put your new washers in at this point, fish out the old ones, make sure they're all counted for. You don't want to have any missing when you fill up and get any nasty sprays out here. Begin to get it into position, screw it up nice and evenly like a tyre so you don't squash any of the o-rings in an odd way. 
Once it's in place, turn the flow and return isolators on and check for leaks at this point. Then you want to open the uh, cold water inlet isolator with your hot tap open just so that relieves the pressure. At this point, check for leaks because it will be relieved from the pressure on the tap. And then begin to close the tap down and that will be at full pressure. Check again for leaks. If there's no drips, happy days. I'll continue to check for a few minutes just to make sure you haven't got any weeping out a bit. Open the hot tap, get rid of any uh, air in there, and also just flush it out a little bit further. Begin to fill the boiler up, uh, repressurize it uh, without the boiler on. Uh, make sure the air vent works. If you can't hear that hissing, you want to open that pump nut and bleed the pump so that doesn't burn out. And then we could test what we've done. Let's turn the boiler on, open the hot tap, and in this case, you can see the temperature is rising much, much slower and it now modulates. So uh, success, we've uh, cracked this hot water problem on this particular boiler. Again, as always, any questions, uh, just drop them in the comments below and I'll be uh, happy to answer them. Cheers, folks.